All right. Hey, guys. Uh, sorry it's uh, coming so late here, but uh, this is going to be a real quick lesson on reference angles. Guys, a reference angle is an acute angle that's formed between the terminal side of an angle and the closest x-axis. Now, we talked about coterminal angles already today. Today, we talk about reference angles. Let's review from geometry. Remember that an acute angle is any angle that's between 0 and 90 degrees. So what I'm going to be looking for is some angle that goes from 0 to 90, okay? So let's take a look at this. The first part says, let's sketch an angle in the proper quadrant and then find the reference angle for that, for the given angle. So the first one is 120 degrees. Well, let's see here. I know that I start every angle in standard position is on the positive x-axis. As you can see, this green, this green, this green, this green, right here is the starting side of my angle. And now I've got to come in and I've got to draw this new terminal side to that angle. So we start here at 0 degrees. If I opened it up straight up, wouldn't that be 90 degrees? If I went all the way to here, that'd be 180. So shouldn't 120 be something like that? And again, it doesn't have to be exact. But I say that this angle is my 120 degree angle. Well, according to my definition of a reference angle, the reference angle is just the, 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 you know, the acute angle or the tiny angle that's formed between the end or the terminal side of this angle, this guy, and the closest x-axis. Isn't, isn't that angle close to 180 degrees? So this is my reference angle. Well, what is the difference between 180 and 120? It's 60 degrees. So what's the reference angle for 120 degrees? It's just 60 degrees. Okay. Let's do it again. If I have 225 degrees, well, in this case, I have to start with my angle in standard position, right? But instead of opening it up in a counterclockwise direction, I have to open him up in a clockwise direction. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go 0, negative 90, negative 180, negative 270. Oh, negative 225. Well, if that's negative 180 and that's negative 270, shouldn't he be somewhere in here? All right, so I'm just going to put him right here. It doesn't have to be exact. But this angle from here to here is negative 225 degrees. Well, what's the acute angle formed between him and the closest x-axis? Well, again, the closest x-axis is negative 180 degrees. So my reference angle would be this little bitty guy right here. Now, what's the difference between negative 180 and negative 225? Well, if you subtract them, Right? Wouldn't that become negative 45 degrees? But what's wrong with that? Well, reference angles can't be negative. So we just say it's 45 degrees. Okay? So my reference angle is a 45 degree angle. Okay? So ultimately, all the reference angle is, it's an acute angle formed between the end or the terminal side of my angle in standard position and the closest x axis. Just for fun, let me do it one more time. I'm going to make up my own problem here. Let's suppose instead of 120, suppose I had, say, 290 degrees. Well, if I want to find that angle, well, let's take a look. So I'm going to start my angle in standard position. I'm going to come over. I'm going to say, all right. All right. Well, since, uh, since 290 is a positive angle, I have to go in a counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to go like this. Ooh. That's, that's 90, 180, 270. Does it make sense why it would be somewhere over in this third, uh, fourth quadrant? So this angle right here is 290 degrees. Well, what my, my reference angle? Well, wouldn't it be this little guy between... 290 and the closest x-axis, which is 360 degrees. Well, what is 360 minus 290? 70 degrees. So this guy's reference angle is just 70 degrees. <coughs> hey, folks, you got to make sure that you might want to get that cough looked into. <laughs> yeah. You want to make sure that this angle is an acute angle. Remember, an acute angle has to be between 0 and 90, okay? Hey, that's it. Sorry for the delay. Talk to you later.